Uh, um, under the funding um, for people that provide accommodation for um, Ukrainian refugees, um, it has been brought to my attention over the last number of days um, that while the government early on, uh, when they were looking for accommodation places, and I'm referring to that loan specifically, but other places in my constituency, that they were sending money fairly freely. But they're like a broken down subby at the moment. There's, there's a lot of places, um, I know two crowds already, that were supplying food. Um, that actually are owed two million, since, and I, this has gone on since October and November. That's a disgraceful way. If you're looking for accommodation and people to supply accommodation, um, it's not in good taste. And I think that you know a lot of the cause of a lot of people exiting at the moment is because the government right. uh, isn't Thank you. Time sending up, Deputy, the please. payments forward. And I'm Tony asking Stur you, even if I send Thank these you. cases to you, will you get Tony them paid straight away? I think I acknowledge, first of all, there has been an issue in terms of payments. Um, and uh, we, we had a cabinet subcommittee last week in respect of this issue. Um, and mechanism, uh, measures are being taken, uh, both in terms of dealing with the immediate situation of some people needing immediate payments, but also creating a, a new model that would uh, make for more regular payments into the future. Uh, and so that this type of situation that many deputies have come back to us on, on individual cases, uh, doesn't arise into the future. It has to be dealt with systemically, in my view. Uh, and that's, that's the approach we are taking. Thank now. you, Tony.